All right, getting ready to start some upgrades to my remote control trolling motor here on my uh, my Vibe uh, Sea Ghost Team Smoke. And uh, before we get started, let's meet Bad Vibes. He's here watching with us with my uh, trolling motor set up. I have here, uh, it's opened up, just kind of see a little bit what's in here. But for the remote control, this is the receiver. It's the signal, and then in here, right there, is an ESC for a rock crawler. That becomes my PWM. So everything that I need to, for the trolling motor is uh, is right there. There's no other P PWM hanging out anywhere. And then the only other thing I have is uh, my battery setup. So that's plugged in there. And then you need a controller. So this is my original controller. It's a skateboard controller for a power skateboard um, it works awesome it does its job um, it fits in my uh, pfd pocket which is what i really like about it but what i don't like is this spring-loaded throttle you constantly got to hold it so if you want to make a long run you got to hold it if you're trying to troll you got to hold it and you don't have hands free for anything else so i wanted a, a regular uh, potentiometer a regular pot switch in there so i thought i'd just hack it open and install one um, so I got a uh, little pot there, but when I open this thing up, that spring-loaded mechanism is not a, uh, I thought it was a slider pot. It is not. It is a Hall Effect sensor, and that Hall Effect is baked into the little PCB that's inside this thing, so there's just no undoing that. There's no adding a, um, a dial pot to this controller. So what I did was I decided I was going to upgrade my controller and here we go is that <clears throat> so my controller this is a controller for a rock crawler ground bot it's got steering here which i don't need but maybe one day i'll put up some remote control steering but for the time being all i want is a uh, speed control now this has a spring loaded speed control also so i come back over here and get in the shot pull the trigger and it goes. Mm -hmm. That's forward. Uh, push it. That's reverse. So forward and reverse. I got that all going. Reverse is a little bit slower. I don't want to go fast in reverse. I just need to move. So this is fantastic. <clears throat> but this big old thing, I don't want to. I don't like to have to worry about carrying it around. I kind of like just sticking it in my PFD pocket when I don't need it. So this uh, thing, if I can get it to sit down for a minute. The radio in this thing is only this big. All the rest of this is just handle and plastic. Um, there is a battery in the bottom, but I'll deal with that. So I'm gonna fix and to crack this thing open. I'm gonna pull out that radio. I'm gonna desolder that uh, this uh, spring-loaded pot there. I'm gonna solder into that pot, and then I'm gonna put this little bitty piece here in a cell phone case or something similar i got to figure that out once i get it apart exactly how big it is but i know it's not very big so that way i'll have a tiny little device that's remote control and it'll fit back in my pfd but it'll have a dial pot that i can set and leave when i just want to run a constant speed so that's the plan we'll see how it goes <clears throat> 